Hello, welcome. My name is Hannah and I will be leading you through a 60 minute practice today focusing on breath. So first things first, get yourself settled, sit down on the floor or on a block or a bolster or anything that you have handy just to raise the hips so that they're at least level with the knees or maybe even higher than the knees. This allows you to sit up tall and create space in the body. And when you arrive in your comfortable seat, just close down your eyes. Let your body land. And straight away, we're going to jump into the juicy bits of our practice. Our breath. How is your breath today? Is it shallow? Maybe caught up in this top section of our lungs? Are your breaths maybe short? Is this the first time today that you have actually noticed that you're breathing? So tend to it. Focus your attention inward and slowly start to lengthen both the inhale and the exhale. Deep breaths all the way down into the belly. Long exhale. And if you find it hard to even Contemplate what it feels like to breathe into your belly. Just bring your, both your hands to your lower belly or one to the lower and one to the upper. Either side of your belly button. And really try to expand into that area as you breathe in. As you exhale, let the hands soften in. Inhale, sit up tall. Notice how this makes space for you to breathe even deeper into the belly. And exhale, belly softens in, but the length stays in the spine. Keep breathing like this, deep into your belly. And then notice in, if in your effort to breathe really deeply, you're kind of clenching or holding on or screwing up the face and just soften. In fact, we'll take three cleansing breaths in through the nose and out through the mouth together just to let go of any tension or any concerns or worries that are not serving us right now. So take a big breath in through the nose, lengthen through the side body. Exhale through the mouth, release. Again, big breath in, sitting up tall, lift the heart. Long breath out through the mouth. Last one like that, inhale. And exhale. Sealing the lips, come to breathe in and out through the nose. If you're familiar with your Ujjayi breath, start to breathe now in that victorious breath. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, just bring a slight constriction to the back of the throat in order to start to make your inhales and exhales audible. So inhaling through the nose, exhale through the nose. going like this in your own time. And what if I were to suggest right now that your breath were your spirit? How would that affect how you breathe? And this isn't just some whimsical notion. It kind of comes from this idea that 
after all, what happens when you stop breathing? So our breath is this life force that's moving through our body. It's our spirit. Honor that. And continue to send deep and loving breaths into your body. And one more inhale here. As you exhale gently back, open the eyes and bring your hands to heart center, Anjali Mudra. Weights on the ends of your elbows, drawing them down towards the earth. Thumbs press into sternum, sternum lifts to thighs. Exhale here. And then inhale, sweep your hands up from either side, reach for the sky, gaze goes high. Exhale, bend the elbows, interlace the fingers. And inhale, push the hands away, reach up. Exhale, hands come forward, round in, pull. Inhale, back to the palms, come towards the heart, heart goes forward. Exhale, push away again, tuck in the chin, curl up like a little turkey into its shell. Inhale, reach up, expand. Exhale, rain the fingertips down. So we flow with our breath, inhale, reach up. Exhale, bend elbows, interlace. Inhale, long through the side bodies. Then exhale, contract in. Inhale, heart bursts forwards. Exhale, heart space draws back between the shoulder blades. Inhale, palms reach high. Exhale, gentle release, break through. One more time, inhale, reach up. Exhale, interlace, soften the shoulders. Inhale, push away, long spine. Exhale, round in, curve the back body. Inhale, heart towards back of hands. Exhale, push away. Inhale, reach high. Exhale, release. Leaving your left hand where it is, right hand goes to the sky, breathe in. Exhale, reach over towards the left side and spiral your heart to the sky as you breathe in. Right shoulder softens down, breathe out. Inhale. One long exhale. Last breath in to find length through the right side. Exhale back to center. Inhale, left hand goes high. Then just straight over to the other side. Ground down through the left hip. Inhale, spiral up. And then exhale, find the length. One more breath in. Breath out, return to center. Nice, then just coming into a gentle twist. And with finesse, reach your hands round to the left side. Right hand can come onto the knee or maybe just onto the shin or the thigh if it's too much of a twist. Left hand swings round behind. Sit up tall, breathe in. Exhale, gentle spiral of the heart to the left. Inhale, exhale, one more breath in to lengthen, breath out to twist, back through center with finesse, exhale to the other side and again lengthening the spine, breathe in, then twist from there as you breathe out, right shoulder draws back in space, Heart spirals to the front. One more breath in. Long breath out, rinse out. Back to center as you inhale. And bring your palms onto the mat as you exhale. Make your way to all fours slowly, removing any blocks or bolsters as you move. And place the palms of your hands flat on the mat. Fingertips spreading wide, so that it's almost like they're a starfish, and these are all the five points of the star coming out. Plant them down and then suction into your starfish hands so that 
your fingers are gripping onto the mat. Hands are directly under shoulders, knees directly under knees, knees directly under knees, knees directly under hips. Press into the tops of your feet. And then long spine, so gaze goes just ahead of the tips of the fingers so that your neck can be in a long straight line all the way to your tailbone. Take a breath in here, push away from the earth. And exhale, draw front body up to meet back body. And then next inhale, drop the belly, lift the heart. Exhale, draw the chin into chest, ram through the spine. Inhale, belly drops, tailbone high, heart lifts, cow pose. Exhale, chin to chest, rounding in, cat pose. And keep moving like this with your breath, finding space, expansion on each inhale. And the contraction and drawing in on each exhale. How does it feel to move with your breath? How does it feel to let that drive the motion? You close your eyes, turn your gaze inwards. Maybe you start to bring in some, some of your personality to this pose. So your body will know what it needs here. Maybe you need to stay in one of the two poses for longer, for a couple of breaths, or maybe you actually need a little more freedom. You can stir the pot moving the hips in clockwise or anti-clockwise circles. You can come back to a child's pose. But keep moving in a way that's authentic to you for the next three to five breaths. So it's this idea of really checking in, of noticing what we need in any given moment. One more inhale, long exhale. Come back to center on your breath in. Tail, uh, toes tuck on your breath out, drop your tailbone back. Look forward, inhale, and exhale, melt heart down, fingers reach forward. Child's pose, but with the toes tucked under. Notice how this feels in the body. Feel the stretch into the soles of the feet, the lengthening through the back and the melting of the heart, the shoulders. Maybe you give your forehead a little massage by rolling the head from side to side, waking up your inner teacher, your intuition by massaging your third eye. And next breath in, lift the head, gaze forwards. Breath out, press into the hands, peel up, downward facing dog. When you arrive, come high on the tippy toes, press into the hands and lift the hips as high as they will go. Release the neck so that your gaze is towards your knees or even your navel. Take a big breath in. Then exhale, bend the right knee, straighten the left leg and bring the left heel to the earth. Inhale here. Exhale, inhale, high on the tippy toes of both feet. Exhale, bend the left knee, straighten the right leg, right heel goes to the earth. It doesn't have to touch the earth, but feel it out here for a breath in. Breath out, high on both tippy toes, long spine, gaze goes back. Exhale, heels towards earth, and this just means heels are heavy. Hips still going high. And make sure that your um, shoulder blades, or sorry, you're wrapping your arms around so that your triceps come back towards the back of the room and your elbow creases are shining forward. Big breath in to come high on the tippy toes, look forward. Exhale, bend the knees, walk to the hands. When you arrive, feet hips width apart, Gentle bend in the knees, grab your opposite elbows and hang out here, ragdoll. And here is where you can let go of any of the luggage, the baggage that you're still carrying with you. You can give your shoulders a bit of a roll 
Nod your head, yes. Shake your head, no. And let go. Let go of any weight that you've been carrying around, both physically and metaphorically, on your shoulders, on your back. Two more breaths, maybe you come to stillness. Last inhale. Exhale, release the hands towards the earth. Inhale, come all the way to standing, hands reach high. Exhale, draw hands to heart, home base, Anjana Mudra. Take a breath in here. A long breath out. Sweep hands to the sky, breathe in. Exhale, fold to the earth. Take your halfway lift, inhale. Exhale, bow. Inhale, reach high. Exhale, hands draw in, flowing with our breath. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, fold forward, release. Take your halfway lift, take a seven shape with the body. Inhale. Exhale, bow down. Inhale, reach high as if you're going to catch something in your hands. Exhale, bring them to a halt. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, flow down. Then inhale, catch a wave. Reach forward. And exhale as it crests and falls. Inhale, up to the sky. Exhale, hands to heart. We add on now. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, fold, lift halfway, lengthen the spine. This time, bend the knees as you exhale, plant the hands. Just step the right foot back, breathe in. Exhale, drop the right knee, untuck the toes. Then inhale, press into the back foot so that you reach up to the sky. Exhale, we land, low lunge, Anjani Asana. And then really come into your foundation. So press down into the feet, just like how we press down into our hands, our um, starfish earlier today. And use that as a place from which to grow, to make space. Inhale here. Exhale, one more breath in, shine the fingertips. Exhale, rain them down to the earth, rain the front foot. Tuck the back toes, straighten it, breathe in. And press down, step back, down dog, breathe out. One breath in here. Breath out through the mouth, heels are heavy. Looking forward, right foot steps between the hands. Take as many steps as you need, inhale. Drop the back knee, exhale, untuck the toes. Push down to lift up, inhale. Exhale, Anjani Asana, low lunge. And how much can you kind of hug into the midline? Can you support yourself? Can you set yourself up for greatness here? So squeeze the thighs in, hug in through the sides of the waist, and reach high from there. Two more breaths. Softness on the face. One more inhale. Exhale, rain the fingertips down. Tuck the back toes, straighten the legs, breathe in. Step back, downward facing dog, breathe out. One breath in here. Long breath out. High on the tippy toes as you inhale, look forward. Bend the knees, step forward as you exhale. Halfway lift to breathe in, hands to the tops of the thighs. Exhale, bow down, gentle bend in the knees. Inhale, reach up high. Exhale, hands to heart, reset one breath. Shoulders drop down. Nice, and we flow. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, bow. Lift halfway. Fold. Right foot step. Knee drops, hands go high, big inhale. Just right hand down as you exhale. Left hand comes high, twist, breathe in. 
exhale, frame the front foot. Tuck back, toes straighten the leg, inhale. Down dog, exhale, big breath in. Land on your exhale. Right foot steps forward, inhale. Drop back knee, breathe out. Push down to lift up. Left hand down, exhale. Then right hand lifts, twist open, inhale. Exhale, frame the front foot. Tuck back, toes straighten the leg, inhale. Step back, down dog. Exhale, full inhale here. Breath out through the mouth. Then one more inhale. Slow descend of the knees as you exhale. Feet together. In, in soles, in steps to touch. Knees go wide. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, tailbone back, child's pose. When you arrive, just release everything down to the earth. Grow soft in the arms, heavy in the hips. And if this isn't comfortable for you, you can try tucking the toes under to bring the hips higher or coming up to a comfortable seat, hands resting on the lap. Find a place where you can soften, where you can let go, but where your breath is still coming first. Come back to your spirit. And keep sending little love notes to the body with each inhale, each exhale. One more breath in here in child's pose. Long breath out. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, tuck the toes, peel up downward facing dog. Straight away, high on the toes, gaze goes to the hands. Exhale, walk or step, front of the mat. Halfway lift, breathe in, really lengthen through the neck. Exhale, bow down, soften through the knees. Inhale, reach high. And exhale, hands to heart. So now we mix it up a bit, listen carefully. Inhale, reach high. Exhale, fold down. Breathe in, lift halfway. Exhale, bow, plant the hands. Right foot steps back, inhale. This time, left foot steps back to high plank, exhale. So here we can lower the knees or we can keep the knees lifted. Either way, we're in a straight line from either the heels or the knees all the way to the shoulders. Now notice how you can kind of hang out here in your joints or you can push away from the ground, suction into the hands into your little starfish and really make space across the back of the shoulders. Inhale, tilt forward. Exhale, lower the knees, squeeze the elbows in tight, forehead to the mat, and tuck the toes. Baby cobra on your inhale. Forehead down as you exhale. And then elbows like little grasshopper legs, keep them in tight, breathe in, lift the heart. Exhale, lower, last one. Big breath in. Lower down, breath out, nice. Come up through all fours, tuck the toes, breathe in. Hips go back as you exhale, then peel up, downward facing dog. Big breath in here. Breath out through the mouth. Breath in, right heel lifts, keep the baby toes pointing down. Exhale, bend the knee, shift forward and step the foot up. Keep the back knee lifted or lower it down if you need. Then paint a line with your gaze forward and up as you lift hands to the sky. High crescent lunge. So land yourself here, keep breathing. And fix your gaze on one point straight ahead of you. That is the key thing that will help with your balance. Inhale. Exhale, shoulders soften. One more big breath in. Right hand forward, left hand back as you breathe out. Ground into the back heel and bring the toes parallel to the back edge of your mat. 
warrior two. So how can you find the strength in your legs to embody this warrior? But a softness maybe in the fingertips, in the face. Gaze straight over your front middle finger. Inhale. Exhale. Big breath in. Long breath out. Next inhale, straighten the front leg. Exhale, tilt forward. So reach the hand forward in space. Take another breath here. Exhale, just pivot right hand down, left hand high. Trikonasana, triangle pose. So it's really tempting to want to reach for the floor and you kind of just collapse in if you do that. Instead, stay high. Don't press into the leg, but lift up instead. We'll reach the left fingers high. We're staying for another three breaths. Inhale. Exhale. Fingertips are bright. Long breath out. One more inhale. Stay for your breath out. Nice comeback. Upright inhale, hands wide. Exhale, bring them to your hips. Both toes point out the side of your mat. So now your feet are parallel. You, you could even bring your toes in slightly, pigeon toes. Step into your power here. Let your breath take the, let it take the seat at the head of the table. Let it be the thing that moves you when you are still. Just gently drawing the elbows back, the shoulders back in space. Inhale. Exhale, press into the feet. Inhale, gently lift the heart. Exhale, heart goes forward, tailbone goes back. Nice. Then come to the place where your spine wants to start to round in and release. Stay there, either with hands on the hips or releasing hands or fingertips down to the earth. Take an inhale, lengthen through the spine. Exhale, allow the chin to draw into the chest, the head to lower down. Micro bend in the knees in your wide legged forward fold. And then really let go, start to release towards the earth with each breath out. Staying for three to five more breaths. Long breath out. Come up halfway, inhale. Hands to your hips as you exhale. Inhale all the way up. Exhale, release your hands by your side. How do you feel? Nice. Then start to slowly heel toe the feet into center. Lots of the little yogi dance. When you arrive, take a moment, feet either hips width or big toes to touch, small gap between the heels. Notice what feels better in your body. Try it out. How does this feel? How does this feel? Hmm. Maybe that feels better for the day. Then ground down into the feet, lift the ten toes off the earth. And notice what that does to the legs. So you're gently switching on, you're firing up the muscles of the front and the back of the leg. Release the toes down, but keep that connection. Keep that energy in the thighs. And grow tall from there. Shooting the fingertips down towards the earth. Tailbone drawing down. Heart lifting up. Length through the back of the neck. Gentle smile on the face. And mountain pose. Asana. Take a breath in here and a breath out. Inhale, hands to heart. Exhale, pivot to the front of the mat. Take a step to the front. 
and join that foot with the other foot. And then let's go through the other side. Inhale, reach to the sky. Exhale, we bow. Halfway lift, long neck. Exhale, melt to the earth, plant the hands. And this time, left foot steps back, inhale. And keep the knee lifted or lower down as you exhale. Actually, that is completely wrong. Keep the knee lifted, inhale. Step back the right foot, exhale. We're in high plank. I got lost in the zen there. Human moment. Inhale in your high plank and exhale. Press into the hands, dome through the upper back. Long through the legs, kick the heels out behind you. Big breath in, tilt forward on your tippy toes. Exhale, lower the knees, the front body down. Just one cobra here, inhale. Exhale, forehead down. Inhale, push up through all fours, tuck the toes. Exhale, hips back and then peel up, down dog. Left heel to the sky this time, big breath in. Exhale, come high on the toes, bend the knee and really come forward before you step it down. Nice. Here is where we choose to either keep the back leg straight or drop the knee down. And when you're ready, you inhale, nose goes forwards, then up. Exhale, crescent lunge. So when you arrive, first thing you check, how am I breathing? Am I nourishing my body? Am I acknowledging my spirit? Second checkpoint, drishti, gaze. Straight forward or slightly up of your eye line. Then grounding down to lift up. Press into the feet. Take a big breath in, reach high. Exhale, left hand forward, right hand back, ground down through the heel, warrior two. Notice if you reach forward straight away, bring head over heart, heart over pelvis. Bend into the front knee while staying upright in the torso. Take a breath in. A long exhale. Another one. And a breath out. Inhale, straighten the front leg. Exhale, reach forward with your left hand. Then inhale, stay here, energy into the fingertips. Exhale, left hand pivots down, just to the inside of the leg. Inhale, reach right hand to the sky. Really embody um, the feeling of like a five-pointed star here. Your feet, your toes, your fingertips pointing out in both directions. And then one final light shining out of the crown of your head. Take a big breath in and a long breath out, spiral your heart high. Two more of those. Last inhale, long exhale, inhale back upright and exhale, pivot to face the side and we'll turn around. Nice. Actually, it makes more sense for me to stay this way. So um, both feet are parallel again. Bring your arms out to the side and just let your um, hands hang down. So your arms are kind of like a dead scarecrow arms. Then slowly bring your hands around behind your back. See if your fingers will interlace. You can either keep wrists squared or draw palms towards one another over time. And if this doesn't feel good in your shoulders, simply grab opposite elbows. And it's often easy to get really tight across the front if we're trying to force it back. So be kind, be loving, choose what works for your body and change it if it needs to be changed as we move. So here we're coming into wide legged forward fold again, but with a slightly different focus and emphasis. Keep your heart lifted, inhale. Exhale, lead with the heart, hands draw back and up as you fold. Keep drawing the hands away from the shoulders. Exhale, gently release forehead down towards the mat. If your toes are slightly pointing out, bring them to point in. Micro bend of the knees to keep the legs, the knee joints safe. And then inhale, reach up with the hands. 
Exhale, melt forward and down with the heart. Three more breaths. Last inhale. Exhale. Slowly come all the way up on your breath in. Gently break free, hands come by your side. Heel toe, feet to center. I want you notice how it feels in your feet when you do that. A little foot massage. Come back to your mountain. Hands by your sides, close down your neck. And jump right in. Go through your checklist. Make this the biggest, boldest, and most beautiful mountain pose that you can today, given the resources that you have. Big, bold, beautiful breath. Stand tall. Last inhale. As you exhale, bat open your eyes. Bring your hands to heart. And straight away start to ground down into the left foot. Come up onto the tippy toes of the right foot. Notice if your kind of hips are going a bit like this. Press into the standing leg, lift up, and start to lift the right knee up. Doesn't matter where it comes to, inhale. Exhale, open it up to the right. Press the sole of the foot into the inside of the left leg. Maybe your tippy toes are on the floor if you're finding it hard to balance today. Maybe they're on the inside of the calf or the inside of the thigh, but never onto the knee. Protect the knees. You only got two. And when you're settled, gaze on one point straight ahead or higher than your gaze, your um, eye line. Let your tree grow. Take up space. Shoulders melt down the back body as if through honey. And fingertips wriggle. Little flowers shooting out the end of each finger. Inhale here. Exhale, back to center, hands to heart, feet to the earth. Change sides, press down into the right foot. Onto the tippy toes of the left foot. Notice if you're kind of hanging out in that. Right hip, press down to lift up, then lift the left knee. Knee comes out to the side, press it into the inside of the leg and then push back with the right leg into the foot. And let that connection between the two be the solid foundations, your roots, from which your tree can grow. Maybe your hands come high, or maybe you stay here. Check in, listen to the body. Notice what you need. If you're growing your tree and you feel really balanced and comfortable, you can bring the tips of the baby fingers and the tips of the thumbs together. The lotus mudra, gaze up between the hands. Two more breaths. Big inhale. Everything back in and down. Exhale, close the eyes, tuck chin gently to chest. Allowing mind intelligence to body intelligence. And what does that mean for you? Beautiful. One more big inhale here. Send your exhale down into the air. Bat open the eyes as you breathe in. Pivot face the front of the mat as you do that. On the inhale, step to the front of the mat. Exhale, land. And then inhale, sweep the hands high. Exhale, bow down. Halfway lift to breathe in, long spine. Exhale, fold, plant the hands. Right foot steps back, inhale. Left foot steps back, exhale. High plank for one breath in, press down away from the earth. 
On an exhale, downward facing dog. Right foot straight up, breathe in. Bend the knee, open the hips as you breathe out. Inhale here. Right knee to right wrist as you exhale, bring the shin across the mat. Lower the back knee down. You can wiggle it out to give you more space. Setting up for one-legged pigeon. And this might be enough for you to stay here. So you're grounding down into your foundation. You're lifting up. You're finding space and breathing into the outer right hip. It's, it's enough. <laughs> That's a lot. So maybe you inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale, start to creep the fingers forward, snaking your way down. Forearms to the mat. Maybe forehead in. Ekapada Raja Kapitasana. One legged king pigeon pose. And I'm going to get quiet here and allow your breath to do the talking. Close the eyes. Use your exhales to soften. Notice what happens to the breath when you are in discomfort. So try and keep it steady. One more loving inhale. Long exhale. Gently walk the hands in, palm upright. Breathe in. Take your time here. Tuck the back toes, bring the knee in slightly, then bring your right knee next to it. Tuck both toes, drop the hips back, inhale, look forward. Exhale, press into the hands, gaze goes back, downward facing dog. Left heel to the sky, breathe in. Bend the knee, open the hips so your heel comes towards your right glute. Heart opens, inhale, exhale, bend the knee, step it, set the knee up behind the left wrist, shin comes across the mat and we're kind of working towards the shin being parallel with the front edge but that might never happen and don't worry if it doesn't. So come into a version of pigeon that works for you, maybe the heel is all the way in towards the groin and you're kind of staying upright like this, maybe you can wriggle that shin forward. Press down into the back of the, the top of the back foot. Inhale. Exhale, snake forward. Come to your pigeon pose, whatever your body is craving. Come into your private love cave and let the breath swirl around it. And continue to surrender. One more breath in. Let go of something in your body. Inhale, slowly come upright. Exhale, press hands into the mat. Tuck the back toes and bring the feet in. 
Place the left knee next to the right knee. Take whatever you need here, maybe stillness, maybe hips shift left to right, maybe a cat cow. When you're ready, drop the hips over to one side. Swing your legs around all the way in front. And come to staff pose. Toes drawing back towards the face, hands by your side or resting on your lap. Be gentle with yourself. And just start to lift the heart. Gaze goes towards your toes. Continue your love story with your feet. I promise it'll be worth it. Shoulders gently drawing back in space. Inhale. Exhaling. Draw more breath in here. And as you exhale, start to lead with the heart. Walk the fingers forward. Maybe your forward fold is a bit lighter. And then notice over the next five to eight breaths how you can lengthen through the spine and lead in with the heart, maybe soften down a little bit. Keep great awareness towards your lower spine. Notice if you're kind of grounded in like this and come up, give yourself more space. Three more breaths here, wherever you are. Long exhaling. Inhale, come all the way up. Exhale, place the hands by the hips and just shimmy the hips in towards the feet. Straighten the legs out, toes pointing just off the end of the mat. Bring your hands all the way around, clap them together, interlace the fingers. Apart from the first two kinds of yogi guns, shooting love and light to everyone in the vicinity. Inhale, sit up tall. Exhale, slowly lower, keep toes pointed, keep toes pointed, keep gun pointed. Exhale, release towards the earth and let go. Feel supported here. And gently bend up one knee, then the other. Bring the knees in towards the chest and give yourself a little hug. Rocking side to side. A little massage for the back body. And then bring your palms to the kneecaps and let your arms go long so that your tailbone draws away from you and the lower back lifts gently off the earth. Just kick out through the feet. And let your lower back, your lumbar spine release here. And then you can take a little rock from side to side massaging up through the sit bones, through the upper glutes, really nice. And inhale, knees back into chest. Exhale, maybe you peel the nose up to meet the knees. One inhale here. Exhale, release the head down, release the arms out to the side. You can make cactus arms or you can open them out in a big T shape. And just drop the knees gently over to the left. And you can shimmy your hips back to the center. And gaze for right ear goes over towards the right. Close the eyes. Breathe here. And really release as you twist out on each exhale. One more breath in. Long breath. Come back to center as you breathe in. Shimmy the hips to the left and drop the knees to the right. Gaze goes over to the left or left ear to the earth. Close down the eyes. Supine twist. Final rinse out for the body. Chance to regulate your breath. Inhale in. And exhale. 
big breath in. Long breath out. Back up to centre, use your core to help you inhale. And exhale, come into a happy baby. So knees coming in towards the armpits. We can hold on behind the backs of the knees or to the outside of the feet. And just tap back into your sense of childlike joy. And come back to the simplicity of simply being and enjoying the sensation. You can rock and roll here for as long as you like. When you're ready, let the legs go out long. Feet drop out to the sides. Take up space here, let your arms come away from the body a bit so that it's comfortable to bring palms face up. You can gently place the shoulder blades under the back body and then soften the body into the back. In Shavasana, if you find yourself getting distracted, use your breath as an anchor to the present moment. Simply be Time for a longer shavasana. Pause the video instead and do that. Otherwise, take a deeper breath in here. Send your exhale down into the earth. Again, inhale. Exhale into the earth. Start to wriggle fingers and toes. Moving ankles and wrists. Then bring hands all the way up overhead. You can grab one wrist or interlace fingers. Point through the toes. Take a big breath in. Long morning stretch. Exhale, release and start to bend the knees up into the chest. Take a little rock and roll side to side. Then release to one side. Let your body feel supported here. Notice how you feel. When you're ready, use your hands to push you all the way up to a comfortable seat. Just stay here for a couple of moments. Bring hands to heart center and jelly mudra. And sit up tall. You can learn to control your breath when no one can steer your course. Take a big breath in. Breath out through the mouth. Palms up to the third eye. Inhale. And you bow. Namaste. sharing your time and your practice with me and everyone that's practicing alongside you. See if you can take the power of your breath with you into the rest of your day.